It's grand final weekend and I'm basically home alone. I thought, you know what? I think I'm gonna watch the game. I don't watch sport. I think I'm keen to watch the Katy Perry opening. I'm not a fan of Katy Perry, but I do love a good opening act of a sporting game or, a, you know, a halftime performance. Sydney, come on. That was disappointing. The commentators are like, oh, it's an incredible game of football here. But like, really, is it? I think it's just like a thrashing right now. But look, I need a drink. We need to chat about Katy Perry. I'm actually not a fan of Katy Perry. And that's okay. I appreciate, I appreciate her. I guess Katy Perry was like the big, big act for the opening of the AFL. It was a pretty cool performance. It was a pretty cool performance until the CGI came in. <laughs> that was, to say the least, an abomination. It was, uh, oh my gosh, I've got some footage. I'm going to chuck it in here and I'll just talk over the top of it. Katy Perry's performance was really cool. Look, some people are saying that it looks like she rode into the grounds on a goon bag. If you don't know what a goon bag is, a goon bag is box wine. In Australia, we get box wine and inside the box is a big silver bag and to get out all of the wine, you blow it up so it looks like a big cushion and then you squeeze the air and it pushes out those final precious drops of wine out of the goon bag. Now we do use, like, you can use those as pillows, you blow them up, use them as pillows, like when you're at the beach, you can, people have made artworks out of goon bags, but that's what a goon bag is, okay? Anyway, I actually thought it was cool I liked the performance until they brought up, I think it was in the second song, there were like these big things that came up, CGI out of the field with these like heart balloons. I'll put a little video here. And they're kind of like these mechanical arms that dance around on the field while Katy Perry's performing. It is the most distracting thing. It looked so bad so bad it really kind of took away from i don't know the special performance that katie perry was doing at at the at the grand final it just i don't know i think i might be leaning towards a little bit of fan of katie perry although i wouldn't like i'd go to one of her concerts but i probably wouldn't buy her cd now that wasn't the only cgi there was a whole there was a bit of cgi at the end of her set as well but overall, I thought it was great. The dancers were great. The people, like, the dancing on the stage with the mirror top, that would have been so intense. Like, it was pretty sunny. It was a, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sunny day in Melbourne right now. And the reflection of the sun on that mirror stage would have been so intense. Like, they were all wearing sunglasses and everything. And then I think in the last couple of songs, there were the dancers that came out with, like, the little balls that they kind of like danced on top of their heads, which looked so cool, so cool. Mm. And Tina Arena came out during I Kissed a Girl and she did like a little rendition of I'm In Chains, which was pretty crazy. Go Tina Arena. I feel like the conversation should be around Katy Perry's performance, but the CGI during her performance while watching it on TV is just going to take away the attention because everyone's just like, holy shit, like, why, what is this crappy computer generated? This is why I'm doing this whole YouTube thing because somebody has to talk about it. And I was sitting there watching, you know, I've got to record this. I've got to record my reaction because I know that I'm not going to be the only person. Okay. And now back to the game. <sighs> Sydney. Sydney, Sydney, it's half time and what's going on? 
Like, I mean, you're really not even like in it. I really hope you get you get yourself you get your shit together in the change rooms during this half time and just get it together, guys. Get it together. And make this a good game because at the moment, if it keeps going the way it is, I'm probably just gonna start editing this vlog during, you know, the last quarter because you're getting thrashed. Anyway, Sydney, pull your socks up, have a drink of water, get back on the field, and let's do this. Put some heart into it, mate. And Brisbane, good job. Knew you had it in you. We're just, we're just gonna make it like a little snack. We're gonna have to like pay some cheese tax. Yeah? Last one. <laughs> no more. No more cheese. No more. You've already had some. Had a couple more of these since we last spoke. Like basically three minutes left. It is what it is. Brisbane's won. Go Brisbane. Well done. Two minutes to go. I hope you've enjoyed watching this grand final with me. I wish there were, it was more intense. I think the, the best part of this is Katy Perry. Thank you so much for watching. I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Have a great weekend. See ya.